Right in the mail, MS sex games from Japan. Collecting with our fail, those shoot 'em ups, and that's the plan. He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too. Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you. Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with my channel update and vlog for April 2022. Um, time goes by quick. Uh, I've been very, very busy uh, working several jobs at my job. My boss, I think I might have mentioned last month, my boss decided to um, go on holidays and then retire and not come back. So I've been filling in for his position. Uh, so I've been very busy, not, not a lot of time for gaming, but I have had a little bit of time in this room finally and tidied a couple of things up. And of course, April, um, for those who are familiar. <laughs> It's my birthday month, so I had my birthday. So I, I, I do have some other pickups as well, but I'm going to do the reverse order because just simply because this is the way I've written my list. So for my birthday, um, my family know that I love Star Wars and also love Lego. So uh, my wife bought me this wonderful Star Wars um, Razor Crest from the Mandalorian. I have already built it. You can see it's nice and light here. Um, quite an impressive uh, model, took quite a while to put together, thoroughly enjoyed the process. Um, I'll try and put up some other little snippets here of my build as I prattle along, but I really enjoyed putting that one together. Um, I also, um, from uh, some of my daughters, I got, uh, actually from the eldest daughter actually, sorry, um, I got another one, the um, same daughter also uh, previously bought me Boba Fett head, so this is the Mandalorian's head. Um, I haven't put this one together yet. Um, this small box has got 584 pieces, these have got more pieces in them than you think. They're actually quite a good fun build, so I'm looking forward to doing that one. Um, now as a little bit of a giveaway, my uh, I've got things in wrong order here. Um, uh, two of my other daughters went in together and they got me Star Wars, the, uh, what was it, the Skywalker Saga on the PS5. Now the observant of you will note that I don't have a PS5 until now. One of my long-term friends um, who I've known for quite some time um, but he told me before my birthday, so I knew it was going to happen. Um, basically, bought me a PS5. So I now have a PS5. And this is also an amazing thing, because I've never seen one of these in a store ever. So he managed to get this, like a, you know, a Twitter, like a, a lottery sort of thing. that pop, When it pops up, you've got like five minutes to get on and get allocated one from our local EB Games. And he got me a PS5. Um, he kept the game that come with it, which was um, Gran Turismo, uh, but he gave me the console. So, uh, console and uh, white controller. I then used, um, so I got a couple of gift vouchers um, and some cash from uh, various other relatives. So I bought myself a second red controller. really like the colour. Uh, I wouldn't really, I mean, I'd call it, it's almost heading towards... Um, almost a magenta colour rather than a red colour. It's actually quite nice and I really do like the um, PS5 controllers. They're very comfortable. I have played um, uh, episode 4 and 5 um, of the story mode of the LEGO already and thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, <coughs> so using uh, the, so with the vouchers and, um, and things and cash that I had I also got myself a copy of Elden Ring, uh, which I'm sure I'm going to enjoy. I haven't started it yet. I haven't even loaded this one in the console yet because I, I need an appropriate block of time to get started so I can get into the game. Um, I also got a copy of Gran Turismo 7, um, and I have loaded this up and started it up, but I've only really done um, some of the training so far. I've only really had, um, you know, two... Uh, small sessions on the console so far, but I really love it. It works really well <coughs> on my TV um, and um, I suppose I haven't actually played any modern games for ages. I've, I've, I've been a bit um, off modern games for a little while, so hopefully this reinvigorates my interest in modern games, but these three games that I have will probably last me a fair while. 
<clears throat> especially considering I have other PS4 games um, that I have that I haven't started yet, but some of those are ones that if you put them in a PS5 it downloads the upgraded version, so I might play a few of those as well. Um, as an example, I haven't played the first Horizon game as yet, Horizon Zero Dawn. So it'd be nice to play that one first and then maybe that might be the next game that I get on the PS5 will be the new Horizon game. I've heard good things about that one. Let me know what you think. Um, also from my wife, very good um, load of presents from my wife. She gave me a set of um, version 3 Apple AirPods, um, which I've been using and they're very, very good. I love the sound in them. Um, and um, like, like the sounds really good and I'm very impressed with them and they fit in my ears pretty good. Um, having used some of the extra features is a bit freaky when you're um, listening to music and um, it goes and dictates some stuff from some of the messages in your phone. I'm not sure whether I want to keep that going or not but I'll play with the features a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> one of my other daughters also bought me uh, the next book in this series by Nora Roberts. I've read the first one, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, and um, uh, my wife has read the um, the first one as well. I believe she may have already on her Kindle read this one. Um, but it's actually a really interesting series, um, sort of like a another post-apocalypse sort of scenario, but with some um, shall we say mystical powers or something elements in it, which makes it interesting. I won't give it away for people, but people are like post-apocalyptic stuff. I thoroughly recommend that one. Um, as part of my birthday I went out and had a nice Italian meal which was great uh, with my family um, and then I, oh, damn it, my sister bought me a present. I wasn't expecting it and I've left it out there. What I'll do is I'll take a picture of it and I'll insert it here. Um, she bought me this very interesting card game which of course I can't remember the name of until I put the picture up here because I haven't had a chance to open it and play it yet. But so I'm a very lucky person with all of those birthday presents and um, uh, yes, I can consider myself very lucky, but yes, I've got a PS5. So I can experience some of those games and um, yes, well I've thoroughly enjoyed the Lego Star Wars so far, having played two chapters and obviously had to get a second controller because uh, other members of the families want to join in. I've started playing Gran Turismo 7, but probably won't start Elden Ring probably for another week. And um, when I get a little bit more time, one of the... Well, We've just been on school holidays, so everybody's been at home. When we get back more, uh, which starts this week, um, I, I get um, time at home by myself for a little while, so I might be able to play some games then. When I don't want to come out here and play games, of course. Um, Alright, but there were some other pickups. It was actually, considering and compared to some of the previous months, it's a very busy month. Um, I got some uh, more um, empty ROM boards for MSX which I uh, stupidly have left over there. So hang on a sec. Right, so the magic of editing, I am back. Um, so they're very simple board that can be configured to use different chips. Um, and I just want to, I mean, um, obviously all I need is an EEPROM and a couple of capacitors and to solder, a couple of, to put a couple of links in here for the configuration I'm using. You don't need to put switches in for here. Obviously I'll make a test board with switches. Um, and I have plenty of MSX shells because I'm just get, I'm getting to the stage where I'm really close to going to publish um, some of my titles for the MSX. Um, and um, I can get more cartridge shells when I run out of the ones that I have. They're readily available. Um, and um, I just need to revisit my original spec video boards, make sure I've got all the components there. They're all ready to publish on both of those systems. So that's um, where I'm at. I'm not, not really going to do a homebrew update for this um, episode because I haven't had much programming time. Um, so also, earlier in the month, <coughs> and sadly I haven't had a chance to even play it, in the specials bin, I found this game. Uh, Deliver Us to the Moon. Um, and it's supposed to be a, um, a good series, and I, was, um, I thought I'd had the time to play it, so unfortunately I can't comment on it very much because it hasn't even made it into the machine yet. Um, so add that to those games. I've got enough games on the modern systems to keep me busy for a little while. Um, now I also got, <coughs> this only arrived last week and I've already read it. I really enjoyed it. it was volume one in the little book of sounds. And it's all about sound hardware. 
So this one is from 1977 to 1981, which is a period that's very interesting because it includes a lot of the chips that are in the computers that I'm most interested in, which is the 8-bit machines. Um, let's put the contents page up there for those that want to zoom in. And it's actually a really well presented chip. So they go through, the, not don't just cover the chip as far as, you know, text and things like that. They've got all sorts of, um, you know, games that use that chip um, and also an explanation of the different uh, wave shapes on the, 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 that you can do with the chips. Um, and I found it, being a programmer, I found it very, very interesting. And um, I believe I've ordered the next volume as well. <clears throat> but they'll, they'll probably arrive separately. So got that, read it and enjoyed it already. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> and another thing. So another thing from a Kickstarter from a while back. Um, from the same people that produced the uh, mini arcades. It was a reproduction of an 80s stereo. So it's it's actually a, uh, a Bluetooth speaker. So I can um, turn this on. And it will hook up to my phone. There we go. <coughs> It's going to be random what comes out. Uh, I might be... Um, my phone's not getting the data for the song. So it's actually got really good sound for a little speaker. I won't play too much, otherwise we'll get um, copyright strikes. But um, it's got all of the little details on it. So the handle... You even have the little antennas. There's two of those. Let's turn that off. And I've only actually charged it once since I've got it, and I've used it a couple of times. And it's got all what looked like, you know, realistic knobs and everything like that. So it's a, you know, I don't actually have a Bluetooth speaker. So it's actually quite small, has good sound, and is easy to carry around. So there we go. A good way of getting a Bluetooth speaker. And I can't remember when I backed that Kickstarter, it was, it was a fair while ago. Um, <clears throat> now another thing, um, and sorry we're going to have to do another cut yet again because I've left them over the other side of the room, so bear with me a second. So I'm back, magic of editing again. So I got some Atari um, box protectors from the same people that I got the Super Famicom connect, um, protectors that I showed last month. And just like those ones, they're very good quality. Now, <clears throat> saying that, here is one that I accidentally broke when I wasn't paying attention, but they have the um, the clips at the top, so they stay there. They are just that touch larger than the previous Atari box protectors I have, which means they fit more titles, because I haven't actually started doing my Atari connection yet. I've done all of my Coleco games now, all my Coleco homebrews, um, and I need to do my Atari ones, and amazingly, these actually fit Konami MSX games which obviously is a very high priority of mine to keep those in good condition and unfaded. So I've already gone through the majority of the lot that I got from them, um, so I'm going to have to order more. But they came uh, quite quickly, they're really good, so they come like this, and they've got a clear piece of plastic which you pull off them, so they um, come protected, so they don't get scratched before you use them. They go together, they fit over the things, and then um, they give a really good result. So I can highly recommend those. I'll try to remember to put the um, sellers, it's a, it's a seller on eBay's <coughs> details down the bottom. Um, all right, so, and the, yet there is more. So, um, obviously of late, I have run into a few laser discs. Uh, this has started uh, a little bit of a, I suppose once you start looking for a thing, you keep on finding a thing. I found some more. One of the sites that I, um, I must be on one of the Facebook groups, popped up and said they were having a 50% off sale. So I went in and they had a box set title that I didn't have. So this is Aliens Special Edition. And uh, so at 50% off, I think it's made this $20. So this is one of my favourite movies, Special Edition, CAV format, which is um, obviously only half an hour a disc, but you get the best quality. I have already have the Alien one, I'll CAV with this one, so this completes that um, 
Aliens collection because I do actually have Alien, Alien 3 and Alien Resurrection on disc already. So I have all the original Alien movies on disc. I haven't had a chance to watch this yet, but um, everything's in really good condition and the discs look <coughs> very good. And of course, 50% off, I bought a couple more. Now most of these were only $5 each. I actually was trying to build it up so, because um, they, they were originally $10 and they took down to $5. Uh, I think one of the discs might have been $20 and it's taken down to the $10, but I can't remember which one it is. And I was going to try and get the free postage and just ended I gave up and just paid the postage because I couldn't get it to add up to very much. So I got a copy, so these are all Japanese ones. Um, look at but as long as they're widescreen, the Japanese subtitles go down the bottom. So I didn't have the first Terminator movie. So I grabbed that. And... I love my old sci-fis. I haven't actually ever seen this one. This one's called This Island Earth. I'm not 100% sure whether this is a good old sci-fi movie. I'll find out when I watch it. It's got pretty cool cover art though. Can't be too bad, can it? We'll find out. You have to have to be in a good move, maybe with a nice scotch with those ones. Um, really pleased about getting this one and its pair. We have 2001. Obviously an awesome movie to have on laser disc. And it's a, it's a gatefold um, thing, so I cut the disc. And of course you can't have 2001 without 2010. Not quite as good as the original movie, but sort of a different uh, 80s uh, sequel. One of the ones I'm most pleased about getting in this whole lot besides the aliens is Fantastic Voyage. An absolutely wonderful classic sci-fi movie with some really good actors in it and a really good movie. I haven't watched this um, copy as yet but I will very soon. Sorry, no we can't. Wife ring. Okay, so some more. Um, not the not the super best movie in the world, but it's still an enjoyable one. I've watched it for a while. Species, especially this original one. It's the first one. It wasn't too bad. Uh, the next one I have watched this one. It's a great version. Uh, Starship Troopers. Fantastic um, 80s movie. Fun to watch, um, and actually interesting enough, I was watching this by myself, my wife came home and she actually sat there and watched it with me, she remembered, she remembered that one and she enjoyed watching it. Another um, great old classic, um, so, well, 80s sci-fi, not old, old, is Contact. Still a good movie, haven't, haven't had a chance to watch that one yet. Um, and one more old sci-fi movie. Uh, or sort of sci-fi fantasy movie and I have watched this one with my wife of all things and we survived all the way through and I thought it was going to be terrible it's watchable and it's Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea with some questionable model effects and everything like that um, it's got um, some um, good, good actors in it and everything like that the story is a little questionable but it was watchable without being too cringeable, which is what you want from an old movie. So, um, yeah, I, I, I like this sort of thing. So, it's good, <coughs> it's another way of um, experiencing, I suppose, a bit of 80s sort of th stuff. I was into my old sci-fi movies as I was growing up and obviously still like them. So, obviously I have a laser disc problem at the moment <coughs> and I'm going to admit that more are on the way, so you'll see some more next month as well. Um, so I really do need to do a new Laserdisc collection video at some stage. So um, a couple of people have asked about that, so, and I will definitely do that. Um, so just to finish off, um, uh, we've made some, a couple of little changes in the room. My friend Aaron has finally collected his blue Viper cab. You can't see it because it's behind there, but it's made some more space there, which is why I've changed my camera angle around because you can see more of my shelves. Um, so I have started to tidy up and move things around. Um, I do hope that in the um, weekends that are coming I can start building the new shelves that I really want to build and that'll start changing the room about a bit because it's about time I did a room tour again. I haven't done one for quite some time and obviously the collection has changed a fair bit. 
Um, all right, so other than that, um, uh, vid videos coming up. I've already uploaded the video. I got some MSX titles the other day uh, from Japan. First time in a very, very long time. Check that video out. Some awesome titles in there that I wasn't expecting to find anytime soon. Um, and there may be some more. Um, I have some more videos on the Dick Smith Creator Vision. I uh, recorded a block of videos on a few games on there because there's not a lot of videos of the games of that system. That's quite interesting. Um, we'll have some more MSX2 gameplays as I'm playing, replaying some of my games there. And, um, you know, probably some odds and ends pickups, picks up as well. I believe there's a... Um, I've got a package over there that I haven't opened yet, so I'd better get onto that and make a new video. Alright, I hope everybody out there is well and enjoying both their retro and modern games. I'm Electric Adventures, thanks to all my subscribers, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.